Good morning, ladies, and welcome to this week's Barefoot Bible Devotional. Today we're going to be in John chapter 4, if you want to turn there. Let's ask the Lord for his blessing. Lord, we thank you for your written word. We thank you that it shows your heart of love towards us and your desire to fill us with all that we need to impact the world around us. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, ladies, so John chapter 4, and we're going to begin in verse 5. So he, this is speaking about Jesus, so he came to a city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, near the plot of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now J Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being wearied from his journey, sat thus by the well. It was about the sixth hour. A woman of Samaria came and draw, to draw water. Jesus said to her, give me a drink. And his disciples, for his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. Then the woman of Samaria said to him, How is it that you, being a Jew, asked a drink from me, a Samaritan woman? For Jews have no dealings with Samaritans. Jesus answered and said to her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is who says to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw with and the well is deep. Where then do you get this living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us this well and drank from it himself, as well as his sons and his livestock? And Jesus answered and said to her, Whosoever drinks of this water will thirst again, but whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst. But the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into eternal life. What a beautiful section here. Jesus meets up with this Samaritan woman, and we see earlier in this section that we didn't read that he said he needed to go through Samaria. Why? Because he had an appointment with someone who he knew needed him. And that's the way Jesus is with each one of us. He desires to meet with each one of us. He will come to you, and he will desire to show you that he can give you life like you've never known it. So this woman was there, and it says the sixth hour, and you know, for us that might be confusing, but what it means is it was noon. Noon is not the normal time that women would go to draw water from the well. Why? It is stinking hot at noon, and it's not when the other women would be there. We find out later in the story that this woman is of ill repute, we'll say. She has kind of a sketchy background. She's had a lot of issues in her life. She's chosen a sinful path many times, and yet Jesus knows that she needs to be refreshed. Here she is, alone, hot, tired probably, exhausted from the emotional drain of sin, and Jesus meets her there. You know, ladies, he wants to meet each one of us. He wants to give us this living water. He wants to give us that well that springs up within us. We hear the word living water and we kind of think of it as a churchy term. A religious term and yet in that day they knew exactly what living water was living water was water that was fresh it was not stagnant it was um, running it had a source to it and when you look at stagnant water that's where things can grow dirt can accumulate it just gets a little nasty and ugly it's not something you'd want to drink and it's definitely not refreshing so here Jesus meets this woman and here he meets us knowing that we need his refreshment so I have a little illustration for us today, and this is representative of us. This is our cup, who I am. This is how I get filled. Jesus, the Holy Spirit, God himself, the triune God, all three in one, is represented by this beautiful pitcher. I know, don't limit God to a pitcher. But for illustration purposes, we have us, we have God filling us. He says, I am gonna give you water, right? So he fills us up. And what's his desire for us to do with that water? We are to give out to others, right? We're to serve, we're to bless, we're to share who he is. If we read later in chapter, John, uh, chapter four of John, we'll see that this woman, when she finds the refreshment of Jesus, she runs and tells everyone in this town, and then they come and there's a great harvest. So she takes what God has given her and she pours it out to those around her, right? But what happens now? This cup is now empty. And I'm feeling like, all right, I'm kind of poured out. Let me go back to God, get some more, pour out again. But I'm tired. I'm still empty. And if I remain empty, dirt can accumulate. Things can get stagnant. Jesus says, I want you to know my living water. 
my refreshment, the empowerment of the Holy Spirit within us, so that if we stay in a constant stream of prayer to the Lord, reading of His Word, a right relationship with Him, that we allow Him to empower us for what we do, then we have that steady stream and oh, it overflows to the world around us. The world is impacted the same way, but we stay full and refreshed and clean. Well, you might be saying, but Diane, I'm broken. Can God use someone who's broken? Wasn't the woman in Samaria, wasn't she broken? She had a very sinful past and she was humiliated by it. She was alienated because of it. She was lonely and she felt rejection. She was broken. But what happens when God pours in to brokenness in our lives? The water flows out even faster. It can impact the world around us and just flow and continue to invest in those lives so that they can say, I need that refreshment too. I don't want to be empty. I don't want to be stagnant. I want God's fresh refreshment to cleanse me. You know, that running water, it keeps the dirt out. When we go to God on a regular basis and say, Lord, cleanse this sin within me. Today, I've gotten some mud on me. I need you to help. He washes us clean and we have that well that springs up within us and it comes out like joy. It comes out like love. It comes out, well, like Jesus. Isn't that our desire? Jesus met with a Samaritan woman. If we revisit those verses, we see that she was surprised because the Samaritans and the Jews did not get along. Jesus breaks down every barrier. Jesus refreshes everyone that he comes in contact with. Jesus wants to break down walls and bring refreshment in your life, in my life, in all the world that we have contact with. Will you let him pour into you? Will you overflow even in your brokenness to impact the world around you? I challenge you today, go to the Lord, ask him to fill you, ask him to refresh you. Don't try to do it in your own strength, but rather let the Lord be the strength of your life. Thanks for joining us today, ladies. Have a blessed and joyful day, overflowing.